Contractors began excavation of a brownfield site at the former Terre Haute Coke and Carbon plant Thursday. As WTIU's Jimmy Jenkins reports, the contaminated area is just one of many sites the city hopes to clean up so it can get the abandoned properties back on the tax rolls. The city has hired contractors to reclaim the 20 acres of contaminated land that sits at the corner of 13th and Holman Streets. Once the home of the Terre Haute Coke and Carbon plant, the expansive site has been abandoned for decades. Since taking ownership in 2010, the city has begun efforts to make the site feasible for commercial development. Steve Sanford is a senior project manager with Weaver Booze Consultants, the company serving as engineer for the project and designer of the remediation plan. He says the first step is to explore a tar pit on the property that's a remnant of the heavy industrial plants that once operated there. The tar pit exists exists approximately 20 feet underground and poses structural challenges to future construction. It's soft, so it's never going to support traffic very well. We don't want tar coming up out of the ground later on when we're finished. And finally, this is the part of the site that has some of the highest concentrations of things like benzene and naphthalene. Okay. Sanford's team took samples from the pit, which is as much as seven feet deep in certain areas, and will send them to a lab to be tested. The lab will then develop a mix designed to stabilize the material so the contaminants will become solid and waterproof. Contaminated groundwater that is trapped under the pit will also be solidified with the stabilizing mixture, but all of the contaminants will remain at the site bound by the newly poured mixture. Further construction and soil removal will begin the week of June 17th and take approximately six months to complete. The city has estimated the total cost of reclamation at $7 million. Department of Redevelopment Executive Cliff Lambert says the city is looking to sell the property to investors interested in developing light industrial or commercial businesses after remediation is complete.